Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a full on tutorial on how to use middlewares in Node.js, right? So more importantly, you'll probably be using uh, creating middlewares if you're creating a REST API using Express and I'll basically just go over what an, a middleware is and how you can identify middlewares that you probably already use in your project and how to actually create one and what are the different use cases in which you would need a middleware. So the first thing I want to do here is just show you the project that I have here. Very simple, a very simple REST API I created with Express. Um, we just have a get a route over here, a get request, as you can see. And and also literally what it's doing right now, it's just it's listening to the port 3001, creating the server. And when you try to reach the route, just the slash route, it returns a JSON saying hello world. So we can actually test this. Let's come here. I'm using Insomnia to test my API, but you can use Postman. Um, basically, this is just a way to test your API to make post requests, get requests. You can send a buddy, as you can see right here, with uh, as JSON, and it's really nice. I recommend you try out either Postman or Insomnia, but I like Insomnia better than Postman, so this is basically the one I'm going to be using. And let's try to actually make a get request to our local host 3001. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click send. And as you can see, we received back a message saying hello world, which means it's working, our API is working, right? But now let's talk about what are middlewares. Well, middlewares are actually um, functions that can run prior to actually running um, an HTTP request. So in the simplest form, like in our app.get, uh, we would basically call this, make this HTTP request, and we would be before actually running all of this code right here, the rec res function that we usually are, are familiar with, we would actually run another function to determine if we actually continue with this HTTP request. This is the idea. And you might actually think you've never used a middleware before, but this right here, if you ever actually used app.useExpress.json, this is a middleware. And how to identify it is basically by seeing that it says app.use. And what this does is it basically says that uh, whenever you make an HTTP request, it wants to parse all the JSON that you receive. So this is why you when you when you make a post request and you want to receive data as JSON from the front end, you need to do this or else it won't work because you need to parse JSON. And this is just a middleware that comes with Express and you can easily apply to your project. Also, uh, if you're using routes, you probably already saw something, you already did something like this app.use and you put the route over here, like slash home and like the name of the router that you use, right? Something like home route. You've probably used this before. This is again a middleware, and you can it's, it's it comes with Express, and you probably never realize that it is, but basically this is the idea, right? So the format, the syntax to create a middleware, it's very simple. You basically just come over here and say app.use, and you have to pass a function inside of here. For example, let's create a simple uh, middleware that will be called for every single HTTP request. Basically, we'll have to have a function inside of here. So let's just create our function. And in this function, we have to take some arguments, but differently from when you run uh, an HTTP request like this, um, we'll have rec, rec and res, as you can see, but we'll also have a next function. And why do we need a next? Well, basically, as I mentioned before, this middleware will run before the like every HTTP request. So rec and res are meant to basically do the same thing as they would do if inside of the request, but next basically means that if we want to continue with our request, uh, like if we want to move forward with our request and just reach the app.get, we have to put the next function, we have to call next like this. So next, and this will basically say, okay, continue with the request and run whatever code you wrote over here. So in our in our middleware, we'll have this. And for now, let's just write the simplest middleware possible. The only thing it will do is it will just call console dot log, or just console log the message middleware called. And let's just check to check to see if this is working. So let's save this. And when we just do it like this, like just say app dot use similar to the express.json, this right here will be applied to every single HTTP request. But there are ways to apply a middleware to just one request. And I'll show you guys, we're going to create a middleware that makes a lot more sense and is a lot more 
applicable to use cases uh, right after this. But basically this right here as, as it stands will be applied to every single HTTP request that we create. So let's save this. I'll open up my terminal here. I'll close my terminal. I'll clear this and I'll run my project again to satisfy the new changes. And now let's try to make that request in insomnia, right? Let's come over here in insomnia, click on this. And now let's click on send. You can see that it works similar like it was before. It's just displaying hello world. But now let's look at our console. And as you can see in our console, it says middleware called. If we try to run this again, it will say middleware called again. But now let's test and see how it would work if we didn't have the next function. Let's just delete this. And let's save it. And now let's run our server again. So the server is running. Um, let's see what happens. Let's come here to insomnia and let's press send. And as you can see, it's continuously making the request and it will never end. The reason for that is because it never says like in our code, it never says the project to move forward to the request. And at the same time, it's not telling the request to be finished. So if we wanted to finish the request here, we would have to say something like res.send similar to when you're working with a normal HTTP request. So this is the idea uh, to go to the next, like to move forward, you have to write the next and this is the basic idea of how to actually create a middleware that will be applied to every single um, HTTP request. So now let's delete this. And let's create a more applicable use case. Let's imagine that you you have a project right here. And we have a post request at the post. And let's imagine that this post request, we want to create a user, right? Let's just create a slash here. And let's say that this is a rack res and this post request, the only use for it is we want to create a user or log in a user. But the thing is, the body that we're, we're going to send for this is just a body containing a name, right? And we want to send back a message saying you logged you logged in, for example, or you created your account, you logged in something like this. But we only want to send this message, we only want to go forward with this post request and create our data in our database if the person signing in doesn't have the name Pedro. So this is the use case, right? We want to check to see if the name of the person is Pedro. If it is, we want to move forward with our request. If it isn't, we want to send back a message saying, Hey, you're Pedro, you're not welcomed here, right? So how do we actually do this? Well, we're going to create our own middleware that will be applicable to each HTTP request that we want to apl apply this method. So to create our own, uh, own middleware, it's very simple, you simply just create a function. And let's call this check if Pedro, right? My name is Pedro, by the way, if you if you don't know, this is why uh, I don't have any hate against Pedro's. It's it's just an example, but we're going to create our middleware. And again, similar to what we did before, it will take a rec, a res and a next. And now you will see better why we need to use also the rec and the res. And basically, this middleware, this function will do very, it will do something very simple. It will first of all, check, um, well, we'll get the name of the user. So in this post request, we're going to send the name as an object and we'll can, we can access it in the rack. So if we can access the rack, the body uh, in the post request here, we can access it as well in our middleware. So we can say, for example, const name equals to rack dot body dot name, because we're going to pass a name in our body when we make this request, right? And now all we want to do is we want to check to see if the name is equal to Pedro. Well, we can come over here and say if name equals to something like Pedro. So I know that you can write Pedro with capital letters, all that kind of stuff. But let's imagine since this is an example, I just want to ban people who have Pedro written like this. So if the name is equal to Pedro, and inside of here, we can just say res.json. Because if the name is Pedro, we want to send a JSON with an error saying something like, yo, we don't allow Pedro here, something like this, right? And we save this. And now if the name is equal to Pedro, then this is the response. But else, if the name is not equal to Pedro, then basically, we just want to allow this person or this user to move forward with the request and run all the code inside of here. So how do we do that? We can just say next because we're just saying, okay, we want to move forward with the request. So now that we have this done, what, what we need to do to say that we want to apply this middleware to this 
uh, post request over here is we can just copy the name of the function and pass it over here right before the post request. And remember, both rec and res from this HTTP request is are, are both accessible in this middleware. So this is why it would work. Now, if we save this and we just um, I'm going to clear this, I'm going to run it again. Let's check to see what happens, right? Let's close this right here. And let's open up insomnia. Now let's change our request to be a post request, because we're going to make a post request. And let's actually write our buddy, right? We want to write um, the user that we're trying to log in, for example. For instance, let's try to write Pedro, let's try to log in as Pedro. If this is working, then it should first of all, go to the check if Pedro middleware, run this function, check if it is Pedro. And if it is Pedro, I want to send a JSON saying error, yo, we don't allow Pedro here. So let's try that. And as you can see, it says error, yo, we don't allow Pedro here. But now let's change this to something that is not Pedro like Jack. And when we click send, you'll see that it will say you logged in. Why? Because it didn't match uh, the, the fact that it's it's equal to Pedro. And it said, okay, if it doesn't, then you can just move forward with a request. And down here, all we're doing in the request is rest.send you logged in, meaning it works. I'm going to say something like great. You're not Pedro. And this is basically the idea, right? This is how you actually execute this kind of middlewares. And why are middlewares actually useful is actually for many reasons. Um, I made a video previously on how to validate um, an API, for, for example, applying validations to when you want to grab information and send information. Uh, that That is really important when you're working with um, an, an Express API. So to do that, I created a middleware that will basically apply a validation whenever I make a request. So that's extremely important. That's a, that is a great use case. Also, if you want to handle errors, if you're trying to reach an API, like a, a URL, that, a route in your API that doesn't exist, you might want to create a middleware to handle that error, or else your project will just crash, right? So these are many different use cases to why you would need a middleware. So that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. Subscribe because I'm posting three times a week. Actually, I used to post every single day, but for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to post three times a week because I want to improve the quality of the videos. And also I am under like a lot of work due to university, uh, internship, interviewing, that kind of stuff. So I currently don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to post three times a week. And I really hope you guys will enjoy the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I see you guys next time. Thank you.